Hey everyone, this is Dusk on Like As That Gamer, and I am here with Glorified Thief Yumi. We are continuing to play Clock Tower 3. It's been a few days since I last played it. I'll probably be fine remembering the controls, but you never know. Save file 2, because I forget what I did with the first save file. Rent Ryan, as the... long as you remember how to duck, I think you'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> I remember how to <laughs> duck. I was going to say, we're also going to probably see that cutscene with good old Daniel again. We can commentate on it this time because we didn't last time. Again, this is some of the wonkiest animation I think I've almost ever seen. Yeah. I was like, wait, Daniel? That's not his name. What was his name? I forget. <laughs> All I remember... Oh, it'll say it in a second. Sure. Dennis? Dennis. All I know is his what name... Is De me? Yeah, it's Dennis. That's what it was. Oh, I was like, it's just not Daniel. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Was a gunner for sure. Isn't this some of the most what the fuck animation you guys have ever seen? It's just so amazing, though. I know. Three years? It must have taken a lot of time to do this, though. I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always has this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her. When? And where? Calm down, calm down. It was yesterday morning and your mother drove by in her car. Oh, and she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't back in time. I feel like Capcom was almost trying to like, I guess in a way use this as a, a prototype of their model <laughs> movement. Maybe. To see if they could exaggerate like how well they could animate their character models. Possibly. This well, did come out like from Capcom too, before Resident Evil oh, 4 and, that was then and this is now. some of their other games that you can so like, if I'm just trying to imagine actual actors just doing all those over-exaggerated motions. Though. Yeah. Uh, well, we got a key. Actually, I should probably read what key that was, but that's okay. We don't need no damn key. Yes, we do. We, we definitely do. It's, it's Dick's room key. Okay, which is down here and here, so... Da, 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 da. I remember oh, I was, uh, Hey, as I said, I will resync stuff up, so this will be cut out of the actual editing, but I should probably do this to resync stuff up because I was doing some stuff prior to this. The thing okay. that you want to do, because uh, how we're streaming it, you need to resync it every once in a while. Okay, so now if we take advantage, I think uh, our grandfather's room was the room in the back. Am I right with that? Is the yeah, it's it's definitely has the name on the door. So you know how some of the doors have like shiny letters on them. Uh, yes. There are only three of those, and I think his is the one in the back. It's filled. Yeah, with... I think yeah, his is on the first floor. Okay, let's see. Is this the right door? It's locked. The lodges don't be coming back for a while. Okay, is it the random door that was also over here? Go, Alyssa. Go. Here, here we go. Use yeah. Dick's room key. Yes. There's like one half of the house that you can't get to for some reason. Because I guess they just have a big house and they don't utilize every room. Because apparently they have lodges stay here. Is the house supposed to be like a ski resort or something? I think it's just like, um, oh god, what is that called? Um, it's not necessarily, I don't think it's necessarily like an apartment building. It's more so, I think it's one of, it's an old fashioned kind of lodging where people would have their house and they'd live in it and also if they had extra rooms they'd rent out all these extra rooms and turn it into like a lodging place you mean do you mean yes. a lodge <laughs> anyways uh, let's no, see. when i think of lodge i think of like i don't know ski uh, resort or something. no 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 i you mean you are talking about a lodge i've traveled a lot i have stayed in lodges <laughs> i know what okay, a lodge then. is <laughs> But okay, you then, then I, you're right, Ryan. I was gonna say, cause and I just used a whole bunch of words to describe something that only required one word. Oh, well, you, technically, the reason why I was laughing is because you kept on saying, oh, it's lodge-like. I was like, you mean, you mean a lodge? It is yes. lodge-like because it is a lodge. All these old books. What was he studying? Lodges can be ski resorts, but they're often a bit more homey as well. They can be a thing owned by a person, but also shared among spaces. Uh, okay. Because it's a little different than just renting out a room, I yeah. guess. Yes, yes, it is. As I said, uh, the reason why I know this is because Oregon and Washington have a lot of lodges. So, all okay. these old books. What was he studying? And I'm guessing I have to pick up the shiny book over there because, well, it's shiny. 
But let's see. You mean, Ryan, video games hasn't taught you to pick up shiny things. Right? Let's see, it looks like a mask used to hang here, which means it's probably a form of some puzzle. I'll try to keep a mental note that's there. All these old books. What was he studying? Everything. A lot of things, Alyssa. A lot of things. There's a scribbled note. <clears throat> the keys to the mystery of time be behind you. What could that mean? There are some old books to one side. Book, and look, this has another special book theme, which means we know it's special. Book Yay! of Anetides, one. Anetides have existed in the human realm. Entities, and, Entities, Ryan. thank you. Have existed in the human realm since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with the utter ruthlessness of cruelty and often deriving the possessed to a vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderer does not break the circle of evil. The possessed is resurrected to continue the blood first or its bloodthirsty mission. Those who are controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul, and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. I'm going to guess that, that giant hammer guy that we were having chasing us before is a subordinate. Yes. Only certain humans are equipped to fight an entity. Or en entities! Okay, shit. And there are subordinates, the rooters, rooters, who are always young women in their teens, have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. So, essentially, if I got this right, you mean magical girls. Yeah. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. Alright. And then I guess we just exit this. Yep. Cutscene? Yes. Entities? Rooters. In essence, the list is like, oh my god, I'm a rooter. Darkness. What, did you find anything in there, Alyssa? What's that? Entity? What's an entity? And the rooters? So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's, there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she traveling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner. Do you really just talk in Western? Okay. Yep. Uh, one thing which I want to say, though, I... Unless, of course, there's a time leap, which I'm going to guess is why she seemed all mysterious and a dramatic hue happened. But I just want to make the comment, if it was just about to be her birthday, and if it isn't some time skip or time travel thing that's going to make my head all confuzzled, why didn't she wait until after her birthday to come here? Because her mother told her not to come until after her birthday, and if her birthday was literally just a day, why the hell did she even disobey that? It wasn't like it was a long time in the future. She Is the answer she's just stupid? Yes, and also it's because, you know, her mom calls her on the phone... And her mom's not there on the phone, so it's just a deadline. And so she flips out and immediately goes home, because she's an idiot. Okay, because I was going to say, if her birthday was literally the day after she just got here, then why would she... Yeah. Ah, well, we wouldn't have a game, I guess, if she didn't do that, so... There's something hidden behind the picture frame. Ooh, what oh, might that be? keys that obviously go to some form of... <gasps> Clock. I wonder what. Yes. yes, there we go. So, in a game Ryan, called Clock Tower, what's up? Ryan, you know where the clock is. Actually, no, but I will look around a little bit. 
Okay. Grandfather. All these old. If I remember, it's in one of two places. It's probably not a tower, though. It's probably just a regular grandfather clock, I'm thinking. Which is funny. Yeah. It's funny because we found the hands to a grandfather clock in our grandfather's room. Yes. Anyways, though, let's see. Grandfather clock. I wasn't. I should have been paying attention because obviously clocks are a big part of clock tower, but yeah. I... This wasn't locked before. Who could have locked it? Oh, the room we were in is locked now. That's cool. Ah. Make sure it's not down here. Is this door locked? Nothing of then it's here. only in one place I'm thinking it's in. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So I guess I know exactly where it is. <laughs> and I will hopefully find it in just a moment. I was going to think maybe our room, but... I'll start there. Do a little bit of... Actually, no, no, no. I think I might know where it is. Actually, yes, yes, yes. There was a clock in there, wasn't there? Let's see if I remember. No, not. that was a TV. There's a clock here, but it's not the clock that we need, I don't think. Lol, 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 lol. Lol, 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 lol. The cabinet. No. <laughs> it is locked. I know, but it's weird that the cabinet's locked. Anyways, though, let's open this up. You will eventually know what's in the cabinet, Ryan. I probably will eventually know. Let's see, it's probably not behind there. This door's probably still locked. Yep. Which means that the only other area that I can think of off the top would be this way, which I guess it kind of makes sense, but let's just go take a look-sees. Open daisy. Oh, wait, there was someone behind this cabinet. Aha! Anyways, though. This place is immaculately clean, which is actually good because I forgot how you're supposed to use this. It's like that. No, no, no. That opens up my handy dandy map. Which means probably holy water is this, this, <coughs> this. Holy water. There you go. This is a good time. But there was. Oh! Of course. Come on, that's not fair! <laughs> Having fun with that, Nizumi? <laughs> Oh, you were preparing for that. Yes, I was. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> a dead body thinking, of all places. I was thinking to warn you not to not to unlock that door, and then I decided against it for the pure hilarity of you being attacked by a ghost. Yeah, okay. Let's see. A dead body in here of all places. Which, but what goes to this body? Hmm. One of the lodgers? Woo, what a stink. Well, you know, you better fix this up, because until you clean the bathtub, I'm not sure why I'm planning to stay here, but I, I, there's no other bathrooms in the whole entire place, to my knowledge, so... And also, we're going to get yeah. attacked the moment we're done reading this. Just going to let you know that. I know, I'm that. like, the ghost is right behind you. You <laughs> know that, right? I know, it's been very patient waiting for us to look at its dead body. Appreciate it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Off me. Can't, if I die here, I'm just going to be like, really me, really? Given that wasn't uh, this place is nasty. I know it's clean. Excuse me, ghost. Excuse me, ghost. We're good. We're good. We're gonna go this way. And the problem is, it can probably follow me throughout this whole entire area. Uh, it won't follow you through the entire house. Why did a painting just fall over that had the exact same painting behind it? Because the there's a clock in this painting. Oh, of course. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's actually a clock right over here, too. And we're probably supposed to yes, set the Ryan. clock to the painting. Winding keys might just work on the clock. Not yet. We'll use them in a second. First, I'll look at the fucking painting that fell over for another painting. There's another painting stuck under the first one, which is almost exactly the same, but probably different times. This is set to 3 p.m., it looks like. That or 12.15. Okay, let me go over here. You know, it would have maybe been a bit better if they had just made it so that the painting was there and the player could eventually figure out there was a picture of a clock there. I don't understand why... I think why they it... decided that the player might be too stupid to realize that it's there. Uh, yeah, but I just think it's kind of... It, it seems kind of stupid that it's like, hey, look, I walked in here. Hey, look, there's a painting under the painting except that one has a clock on it. Whatever. I know, use the winding keys... Which will you turn? Left. It's going to be a bit hard to program. Or use. So I'll turn it right. Aha! There's a puzzle here based on, let's see, that turns it by about 40 minutes. Okay. This one turns it 
by about 25 minutes. Luckily, this seems to be perfect. I'm done. There we go. Yay. 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 And the clock strikes at noon, even though I said it's at three, and okay. And who would have guessed? There was a hidden passage right over there. Yay. 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 Anyways, though, is there anything else in here I could probably use at this moment? Also, where the fuck did Dennis go? Yeah, a lot of people wonder that. I think the point is that he's still here. I, I forget what happened at the end of the cutscene, but I think the point is, is that he's just running around in the house looking at stuff while Alyssa's going off and doing her own shit. And I guess we're going to run with the excuse that they just so happen to never run into each other. Even yeah. That's... Okay. And uh, this is probably really stupid because there's, th th there's a ghost in here. But I was going to say, I'm going to see if I can make a run to get some more holy water. Excuse me. Do you want me to tell you where the ghost stays? Uh, probably in that hallway, I would imagine. Yeah, he, yeah. The ghost only stays in that one, in this one section. It doesn't even come out of that door that you just left. I kind of figured that out when, I, when you go through the other bedroom. Which makes sense, yeah. but yeah. Let me just go get some more holy water. I'll try to see if I can figure out later what that ghost wants. Because obviously I'm supposed to put something on its, uh, body. I'll take some holy water. Thank you very much. Always best to stay refilled before I go investigate strange places. I have no idea what's there. Alright, so after we go back to deal with Mrs. Ghosty who's deciding to live inside her hallway and restroom. Let's go on back. And I'm going to guess what they did was try to take a nice relaxing bath and look what happened. Right? I'm gonna have to question what killed her in such a bathroom. I'm sure I'll discover more about that later. Mom, what did you do? <laughs> Mom, why did you... In the bath, really? <laughs> you know, thinking about it, though, it's kind of... I mean, I'm not one to question how ghosts work, but this just kind of hit me. Why, if you, if the ghost... For starters, I guess the lodgers are women, second of all. Why is the ghost wearing clothes if it died and it was in the bathtub? Actually, I think the ghost might be male, because if you noticed... um the ghosts their heads actually change oh really I was so just... if it's a female ghost it has long hair if it's a male ghost, ghost okay I'm it not does gonna, not i'm not gonna go look it could very well be male as well i was just kind of assuming because the laugh was kind of feminine and it had a long dress and i was like oh okay right I, so. I i think it's a male ghost because i didn't see it have long hair but i'm not really sure and also i have no idea where it was wearing a hat in the bath i really don't know <laughs> they just apparently that's how they bathe and i was gonna say that uh, this is a really nice choice of decoration because that doesn't make the room look creepy at all strange medicine <laughs> bottles stand in a line all right i'm pretty sure it's the shiny but we're gonna look around anyway there are all kinds of books about witchcraft and hexes if you believe in that kind of stuff. <laughs> Hello, Master. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, well. and there's a shiny book. You should pick it up. <laughs> I know. Picking up shiny books is one of my favorite pastimes. Portal squares. Drawing the portal square as instructed is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with enough energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with the light may the practi or practitioner... Expect any groundbreaking results. Okay. Cutscene to explain this? No. I'm going to guess that's something to do with this giant circle in the middle of the ground. Where does this strange <gasps> pattern on the ground? Really? <laughs> what on earth was Mummy doing here? Well, I don't know what your Mummy was doing, but Mom was probably... <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut up. I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, let's see. Probably Holy War. Repent! <laughs> Repent, floor! Repent for your sins! <laughs> Papers with geometric patterns scatter the desk. So I'm looking at looking at the floor. What is a strange pattern on the ground? What on earth was Mummy doing? Okay, what what am I supposed to do? <laughs> do it one more time. Okay. Repent floor. Uh, I want to go refill my bottle. I can tell you that you're allowed to. If you want to, you just have to, when you get to the place that you're going to, put more holy water on the, the symbol on the floor, and you can go back to the house. But that, will I have to use holy water every single time, though? No. Oh, really? So basically, it'll be, yes. it'll stay like this, right? Yes, it should. Okay. It should stay like well, that. Because I might not gain anything if 
it's not. Let me just do holy water. And then holy water. And let's teleport. There we go. And now it should stay Cross active. Cross my fingers. Both of them, I guess, will stay active. In which case, I'll cross my fingers. Yeah, it looks like it's staying active. Let's hope it does. Yep, it looks like it's staying active. So anyways, though, let's, where's the door out of here? I think it's over here. It probably would get censored, Afro, because Panty and Stalking does not have very, very, well, actually, I should say it's very colorful language. <laughs> yep. However, though, the Eng I'm happy that the English dub of Panty and Stalking can have a random discussion, but because of people are talking, bringing it up, I'm happy that they didn't really censor it for the American release, so, you know the English yeah. dub. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have both of them on my iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, oh God, God, God. I like paying. Because I've decided, so. hello, sir. I've decided that um both of, well, that my favorite anime is now Panty and Stocking, oh. and my favorite manga is uh, Skip Beat. So the more you know. As I said, it's so one. I, of, I, you should talk to your son, Allie. She also really likes Panty and Stocking. Allie's my daddy. <laughs> I said that back. You should talk to your I'm daddy. Her son. Like. Like father, like son. Yes. Because <laughs> she also really likes Panty and Stocking. <laughs> it's funny because Allie also forgot that she's my daddy and thought she was my son. And I was like, what? <laughs> what is going on here? Well, maybe you guys could be both. I'm like, people, <laughs> people on YouTube and people on the stream have no idea what we're talking about. Exactly. Right, Neko <laughs> wants me to be her internet twin. The person I was going to say, uh, yeah, the ghost has short hair, so... Yeah, I think the ghost is a dude. Okay. Still doesn't explain why he's wearing a dress in the bathtub. Maybe he was just exploring his own sexuality. I don't know. I think it's just supposed to be, you know, like, you die, you go to heaven or whatever, you become an angel spirit thing, and you get a dress. Okay. Because they all wear the same freaking dress. Apparently. So guys, you die, you get a dress. The more you know. All right, so it looks like we're in some sort of mansion or something. Shiny already? It's true. Well, Mary said water. maybe it's a... Maybe it's what? Maybe it's a bathrobe. Could it be a bathrobe? I don't know. Okay, fine. I'll put the cat ears on. Accepting the neckoness. Meow. 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 It's also funny because I have two sets of cat ears. You know, I, I would have not gone back if I knew there was a fountain right here. <laughs> Yes. Oh. I would tell you, but I was like, I'm going to let Ryan do his own thing. Okay. Memory card, I'll save over slot two just so we have to do that all over again in case I die. Which could happen. It could happen. Yeah, never know. Also, this section is kind of shorter than the first section. That's not a bad thing. But you said it's your favorite section of the game before we started. It is my favorite section. Mostly because it's my favorite stalker. Yeah, he's... He's higher than... Yeah, yeah, he's yep. my favorite stalker. I had to debate, because there's another stalker that I like. But, um... Second stalker. There's a crumpled up newspaper article in the corner. Hidden files. Family tragedy. Mother and son in acid bath. Shocker. Oh, is our villain... Since the last villain used a hammer. Is this one going to use acid? Probably. 23rd November 1963. Crawley West Sunsex. Two decomposed corpses were found in a house in Russell Street on Tuesday. Victims were Dorothy Rand, 65, and her toy maker son, Albert Rand, 34. They were found in a drum filled with acid in the garage adjoining their, excuse me, adjoining their house. The suspect is believed to have escaped with a sum of money after the grisly crime. Albert Rand lived together with his mother, a widow. Who was certified blind and required or required assistance in everyday task? Mr. Rand's eyes had been gouged out prior to his murder, and police profiles are on the trail of the man who committed such a monstrous crime. Police are seeking the whereabouts of a young man who had been staying with the Rands a few days before the murder, claiming to be a distant relative of Mrs. Rand. He arrived suddenly in the area and has since disappeared. So, you mean am I right? I guess he's gonna probably be using acid. Yes. Okay. It was kind of also, obvious, admit but... this is one of the first times I've seen this file because when I've watched some people play this game, 
they didn't explore enough to see this file. That's so okay. I explore a lot here. I know that. I know you do. <laughs> that was and nice and one. and I like, I like that you do because then you find things that other people don't usually find. I know, which is why I explore. And also, I enjoy exploring. So that's always how we do. Let's go over yes. there. I assume there's nothing over here. Actually, no, there could be a path that way. Let me just check something. Nope, there's no path that way, which means there's only one straight forward ahead. Yes. Alright. Not, not over there. Not over there. Wait, wait, it's over here. No, 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 not over there. I like the music here, actually. I'll say that. There was a path I just saw. Oh, yeah, it was around here, because you turn around the bend, or... I have lost my way, even though I just saw the path literally a few moments ago. Wait, wait, yeah. Do you need me here. to tell? It, do you need me to tell I, you? I, I figured it out. Just for okay, a second, good. I'm forgetting where I went. A large. Yeah, container. now I have to just have a second to catch up to you. <laughs> That's okay. It has been left outside and is corroded. And the window. I have a feeling that we're gonna meet the stalker very shortly. Let's see. Probably. There's a shiny thing. It's a teddy bear. Very strangely textured teddy bear, but that's okay. Oh, wait. Whoa, ghost. It's a ghost. Ah. Surprise. Surprise. Did it come out of the sewer? Yes. Uh. A large container has been left outside and is corroded. I was thinking maybe that's where I needed to go. Yeah. Ha <laughs> So I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave you, ghost. Oh, I can hardly bear to look. It's funny because they even used a pun there. Oh, I can hardly bear to look. Yes. Uh, you're so funny, developers. Gee. There's a heart-shaped pendant in its hand. Uh -oh. I remember how I use items in this game. Probably you have to use there. them from your uh, main menu. I know, because that ghost is going to catch me if I'm not right about this. Jewel shaped like a clover leaf. Has strange powers. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh... Okay. Teddy bear? It doesn't think, remember, it doesn't go into your key items. It goes into the yeah, right, usable items. items. So, uh, this might not be the right item for this case, I'm guessing. Or is it? Should I tell you? Yes. It is. It's not. Because so. <laughs> there's a pen, I'm guessing Teddy Bear goes to something else. I'll yes. come back to you later. And there's another ghost up ahead. Fuck. I just, <laughs> oh. That's Surprise. a lot of ghosties. I'm guessing this one might be the one with the teddy bear need needs. Let's see. Go this way. So many twists and turns and ghosts. Oh, okay, that's not ghost. Let me jump. Okay, there we go. No, no, no. Get the pack off. Sorry, that made me jump because it came out of the side of the screen. So let's see. Uh, uh, teddy bear. No, no, no. I don't want to go inside the door. I do not want to go inside the door. No, no, no. Alyssa. Stop doing things I tell you not to do. Oh, no. Ah. Can't reload my save file. <laughs> what? If you want. I'm going to reload my save file. I don't want to miss out on those ghost stuff. I think I was just, I was right next to where I was anyway. So let's just do options. Exit. Uh, no, I think I have to restart the PS2. <laughs> Why the door have to lock right behind me going? Uh, Alright, let's just press the reset button on the PS2. Troll lol lol lol, Ryan. Troll lol lol lol. Apparently, the, I just. I didn't. I was just looking around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, <laughs> teddy bear. You're welcome. Got the teddy bear. Now let's ignore the ghost. It's gonna start chasing us. It's just waiting there for us. It just loves you. It does love me, and I love it. I'm going to ignore that ghost. Surprisingly, it didn't chase me this time. But I know there's another ghost right there. Tea. Oh, grim, grimming ghost. Go out to exercise. Okay. The insides of the car is scorched and blackened. A crushed box in the boot. Was it a present being delivered? I'm going to take a guess that the teddy bear doesn't go here either, but I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, it was. Surprise! It did! Because <laughs> I was, I was going to tell you if you walked away without using it, but... <laughs> Alright, so there we go, and then it leaves something else shiny behind. Now the that's left. a lady ghost. A sickle, but that was a lady ghost. So how do I make sewer ghost happy? 
rest in peace. Do I have to go into the sewers? Um, should I just tell you? Yeah, sure. You can't do it just yet. Okay, I'll have to come back to Sewer Ghost later then. Let's yeah, this way. you have to, you actually have to go into the building now. Okay. Got it. Alright, there is an old umbrella in it. Cool. Ooh boy, blood. I wonder if we're gonna be a stalker soon. <laughs> ah, I wonder if making all that noise is a good idea. Well, it we'll, won't be later. It's just fine right now, though. Yeah. Let's see, uh... Do you guys think I should go down... Go into this door might be locked or something, though. Or go down the hallway. What do you guys say? And do so, not ask for my opinion. Yes, do not ask for... <laughs> Yumi knows what she's doing, so I'm just asking you guys. Door? Okay, you guys are saying the door right there? Got it. Door it is. It seems to be locked from the other... Ha! Of course it'd be that. Troll, lo, 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 it I, was locked. <laughs> I, I, I kind of guesstimated that that... I used the word that Timmy hates. Is there anything in there? No. Oh. Yes, Sixth Lord. This is Clock Tower 3. Cutscene. something. Mother. I have a feeling like the piano girl, that's the character we need to help, right? Well, you well if you remember that, but... that, that file that you read, had there the was a guy named Albert and his mom named Dorothy, and, and Albert had his eyes gouged out. Oh, so he's a blind... I see. You're right, that must be Albert. I'm guessing he's the one that we're going to be helping. Alright. I would say that side. would be an educated, a well-educated guess. Another cutscene. Stalker time? Probably. You'll know when he shows up. It's my favorite scene in this game. very quickly. Yep. <laughs> I mean, this is my favorite section in the game. A lot of things escalate very quickly in this. <laughs> An unseen force is holding it closed. That made me both kind of jump and also laugh at the same time. All right, let's go. It mostly makes you laugh just because how... Um, I don't want to say fluid, but how over-exaggerated every single move yes. movement is in this game. I agree. And another ghost. So many of you sillies all around. Oh. Yep. Let's avoid her for the moment. Can't go in here yet. No unforeseen force. Let's go over here. It's locked. And we'll, oh, of course, it's just a locked thing. A painting has been hung here. It's all crooked, though. Maybe I should straighten it. Dark, this is my favorite chapter with my favorite talker in this game. Void the ghost! Void the ghost! Ah, damn right! It. Oh, that got my panic up really fast. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that is bad. Let's but see. don't... I wouldn't use uh, lavender water. I'm trying not to. It is locked and will not open. Excuse me, ghost. Up these stairs, I guess I'm going to go. Let's see. Because I think even if the ghost cause you to panic, 
if you run out of their reach, they won't be able to bother you. That makes sense. So it would be kind of silly to waste your lavender water on something that can't even chase you. That makes sense. The vase holds a moonflower. It looks like it has been turned. Turn it? Yes, which I'm guessing it's going to have something to do with the turning painting, too. Turn which direction? Let's try west. Nothing happened. It's a moonflower, Ryan. Shh. I think I'm supposed to turn it towards the moon, but... North, eh? No, because that would make too much sense. <laughs> oh, a hidden passageway under the bed. Who saw that coming? Well, actually, I didn't see that particular thing coming, but I thought it was going to turn the painting, to be honest. You were, yeah, you were expecting to do something with the painting downstairs, right? Right. And here we go. Albert's Diary, which has another dramatic theme, so we know it's going to be an emotional experience of Albert and his mother. November 13th. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of a good oipo terminus? Is that it? Uh, Op hold on. Let me, let me catch it? up to it. Optometrist? Optometrist? Op okay, that's it. Optometrist in London. Yeah, it's optometrist. Been... Optometrist? Okay. It's been seven years now since Mum lost her sight, and though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It will be experience. Okay, it will be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. It will be experience. It will yes, be right. the experience of a light, sir. Okay, 16th of November. Yesterday, a relative of ours, name of uh, our name of John. What? Okay, what? Yesterday, a relative of ours. By, it should be by the name of. I was thinking I that too, but it just says name. That's why I got me confused. Name of John Hag or Hag, Hag, whatever. I think came, it's Hag. I'm not sure. Hi, maybe. Came asking if he could stay with us. He was very cordial, but cordial. I, cordial. But I can't help but thinking there is something calculated about him. I said as much to Mother, who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. November 21st. I have been hearing strange noises late at night for the last three days or so. I hear that a team of burglars have been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock all the doors and windows at night. Okay. And that was Albert's eventful life right there. Yep. And a book. 